Hi, uh, my name is Andrew Farrago. I'm the curator of the Cartoon Art Museum in San Francisco. And it's one of the only museums in the world dedicated to collecting, uh, exhibiting, and uh, preserving original cartoon and comic art. I'm personally someone who reads comics all the time and I'm always discovering new and interesting comic books and animation, uh, which, is, which is one of the best parts of my job. Comic books uh, started in the United States in the 1930s and the first characters to really uh, take off were superheroes. And many of the characters created then, many of the most popular characters are still around today. We see them in comic books, we see them in merchandising. You're probably more familiar with them as movie characters. So the uh, characters like Captain America and The Flash and Superman uh, got their start in comic books decades ago. Kids like comics, adults like comics, sometimes unexpected people like comic books. Uh, Barack Obama, the president, uh, announced that he was a big comic book fan when he was a kid. Comic books are a great way to express yourself because as, as many artists have told me, when you are creating a comic book you control everything on the page. So they're, the only limitations are your imagination and your ability to express yourself. If you wanted to create a science fiction movie, if you wanted to create Star Wars, you'd need hundreds of actors, you'd need thousands of artists and animators and producers and millions and millions of dollars. But if you wanted to tell the same story as a comic book, you just need a pen and paper and your ideas. That's the power of comics. Okay, so what, make, what makes a great comic character? That's what people ask me all the time. Finding a unique voice for your character is something that is going to make that character memorable. A character that is just the same as everyone else and has the same thoughts as everyone else uh, really is not going to catch on with your audience. One of the things that uh, drives any comic book story or any, any story at all is uh, when you bring characters together if there is some sort of conflict. If the characters are all friends, if they all get along very well, then that conflict comes from another source. That might be the problem that they're facing or the conflict might come from the characters themselves. Uh, the Looney Tunes, <laughs> that's one of my favorite examples, but if you have characters like Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Porky Pig, they have very different personality types. When they all meet and interact with each other, those personalities play off of each other. Bugs Bunny is a tall, skinny character. Elmer Fudd is a short, round character. So there are physical differences that are interesting for the uh, audience. There are many different approaches to the creation of a comic book. I know some cartoonists who do everything themselves. They don't want any help. They want to tell their own story their own way. Uh, but there are also a lot of artists who collaborate with others and enjoy that process. Uh, so a collaborative project, you might have a writer uh, starting with an idea and then that writer will team up with an artist who draws the pictures. Uh, you might have yet another artist who does what we call the lettering, adding the dialogue and the sound effects. And they might work with even an even bigger team sometimes. So they may have an artist who adds color to the artwork. So that's another great thing about this is whatever your abilities, whatever your talents, uh, whatever you're most interested in doing, uh, you, can, you can work as part of a team in the creation of a comic. So my best advice if you want to create a comic book is don't worry about having an original idea. Don't worry about uh, if your ideas are perfect. Just, just start drawing, just put something on paper and you'll get better. The more you work at it, the better you'll get. And if you don't start, <laughs> you, won't, uh, you won't get better. Chuck Jones is a world famous animator and he was best known for his work on Looney Tunes, characters like Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. And he thinks that every artist has 10,000 bad drawings that they need to get on paper and get out of your system. Uh, so the sooner you start getting those bad drawings out of the way, uh, the sooner you'll have nothing but good drawing. Every artist whose work is on display at the Cartoon Art Museum was once a beginning artist. And they all worked hard, they practiced, 
Uh, they really dedicated themselves to becoming the best cartoonists that they could be. And I hope that someday we'll be able to show your work here, that, you, that you're one of the artists watching this uh, who plans to work hard and become one of the greatest cartoonists in the world. And there will always be a place for you here.